Assalamualaikum and a very good day. I am your English teacher, Nya Arifah bin Hindman from SMK Lambukiri. We are going to look at English language 1191 reading, part 4, Gap Text. Reading and use of English for part 4, testing focuses, understand the main points in extended text on a wide range of familiar topics, understand specific details and information, in extended text on a wide range of familiar topics. Guess the meanings. You will have to guess the meaning of unfamiliar words from clues provided by other words and by context on a wide range of familiar and some unfamiliar topics. Recognize with little or no support typical features at word, sentence and text levels of a wide range of genres. Part 4, Gap Text, is actually one of the most difficult tasks in 3.19. A text is given and six sentences from the text has been removed. You need to choose from eight possible options, A to H, to fill in the six gaps. It tests you on your understanding of the flow of a text. You also need to understand how ideas are logically connected. <coughs> Here are the techniques to answer gap text. First, you need to read the text. Okay, when you read the text, get the idea from every paragraph. Think what information might be missing. Look at the sentences before and after. Now, let us look at the passage. This is an example, uh, a sample passage. Let's look at this together and read together, okay? You will be reading a text about Antarctica. There are six sentences have been removed from the text below. For each question, one to six, choose the correct answer A to H. There are two extra sentences which you do not need to use. Antarctica is the coldest, emptiest and driest place on Earth. Blank. The coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth was minus 89.2 degrees Celsius, registered on July 21st, 1983, at Antarctica's Vostok Station. Antarctica's climate is also very dry and windy. Blank. It is an area called Dry Valleys that had not rained for more than a million years. Okay, so the first paragraph actually tells you about the condition of Antarctica. So you can scribble uh, your notes there. So because it tells you about the condition, holders, and then about the temperature, and also about the climate of Antarctica. So in other words, it gives you the idea of the condition of Antarctica. Next, let's read the second paragraph. The existence of Antarctica was completely unknown until the continent was first discovered in 1820. Antarctica doesn't have a government and belongs to no country. There are 30 various countries that operate 80 research stations located around the continent. In summer, more than 4,000 scientists travel all from all over the world work in research stations. Tourists also arrive here too. Okay, so for this paragraph, it actually tells you about the human activities on Antarctica because it tells you about the research station, the scientists, and also the tourists. <clears throat> Next, let's look at the third paragraph. The third paragraph, Antarctica has no trees or bushes, but there are lots of penguins. They live close together in large colonies and build their nests on the ice. Blank. It's just too cold. So this paragraph actually tells you about the inhabitants of Antarctica. So after you have read all the passage, read all the missing sentences, option A to H. Analyze the sentences underline any reference words that give you the clue to answer the gap okay here are the options that we have a to h okay let's look at the first option 
more than 56,000 people travel to Antarctica during the 2018 to 2019 season. Okay, underline the word 56,000. Next, option B. Also, hiding under the Antarctic ice is an entire lake called Lake Vostok. Option C, underline the only plants that can live in a place that are cold are uh, algae, moss and fungi. Option D, winds in some places of the continent can reach 320 km per hour. But Antarctica hasn't always been an icy land. Option F, in the ocean. You can understand, underline that. Around the continent, you can see seals, whales, and orcas. But there are no big and large native land animals on the continent. Option G, 99% of Antarctica is covered by ice, about 5 meters thick. It is the only region in the world which is not ruled by any nation. Next, after you have underlined the clue in the in the option that I have that you have, you are going to choose the answer. Okay, so how are you going to choose the answer? You are going to matching the sentences. Check all the words that you highlight. Okay, so. Uh, look at the words that you have underlined because it's the clue to the answer. After that, reread the text to see if it fits or not because we want to see the flow of the sentences. Okay, let's look at uh, the passage again. Okay, the first gap Antarctica is the coldest, emptiest, and driest place on earth. Okay, so remember this paragraph tells you about the condition. Okay, so let's look at option A. 56 people, okay? So, A is not the condition, right? It's about people, human. B, look at the word that you have underlined, Lake Vostok. Okay, so it has nothing to do with the condition. The only plants, no, plants is not condition. You can cross that out. Winds, mm, no, because it has nothing to do with winds. It, it doesn't state winds in the first paragraph, in the first line. E, but, okay, using the but, no, okay, F, cross that out, F, in the ocean, seals, whales, and orca, you can see seals, whales, and orca, so it does not fit the word condition, mm -hmm. let's look at G, 99% of Antarctica is covered by ice, about 5 meters thick, this might be the answer, Okay, so but let's first look at option H. It is the only region not ruled by any nation. Okay, so this is not the answer, obviously. So, or the answer is G. Okay, so after you have decided on the answer, you can cross out this option so that you won't be choosing it later. Next, for gap number two, Antarctica's climate is also very dry and windy. Okay, so the word windy, we have the word winds, remember? So we can go straight away and this is the answer. Okay, so let's read it. Antarctica's climate is also very dry and windy. Winds in some places of the continent can reach 330 km per hour. So you can see there's the flow there. Okay, so cross this out from the option. Next, for gap number three. The existence of Antarctica was completely unknown until the continent was first discovered in 1820. Antarctica doesn't have a government and belong to no country. So it tells you about the human activity, no country. Okay, so let's look at the, the words that you have underlined in the options. Okay, so we have here, not ruled by any nation. So, nation and country are related, are the same, same meaning, has the same meaning. So, we can choose that as our answer for gap number three. Next, to answer gap number four, in summer, 
more than 4,000 scientists from all over the world work in this research station. Tourists arrive here. Okay, tourists arrive here too. So let's look at the first one. Oh, people traveled. Travel and tourists, it has this relation, right? Relationship there. So you can choose A as your answer. So let's read it. Tourists arrive here too. More than 56,000 people traveled to Antarctica during the 2018 to 2019 season. So it flows. So once you have choose that as your answer, we are going to go on to the next step. Antarctica has no trees or bushes. So it talks about tree and bushes. Remember, this paragraph is about the inhabitants. Okay, so let's look at option C here. We have only plants, the only plants, algae, moss, and fungi. Okay, so the answer is obviously C. So we get that for number five. But there are a lot of penguins. Penguins, yeah? They live close together in large colonies and build their nests on ice. Okay, number six. Number six, B, Lake Bostock. No, it has nothing, no relation to the, uh, to the, to the sentence before. But, no. So, the answer would be F because it talks about the animals, okay? In the ocean, around the continent, you can see seals, whales, and orca. Okay, so you can choose F as your answer for gap number six. Then, now, as we finish, you're going to have your answer for the gap text. So, for this passage, you have G for number one. Number 2D, number 3H, number 4A, number 5C, and number 6F. That is all from me. Thank you. I hope you'll be, uh, and I would like to wish you good luck for your exam. Thank you.